全年级的排名 ，What is your ranking? Unfortunately for young people in China, these questions are frequently heard and resonate loudly in their heads each day. My dad, who is influenced by my grandfather, has a more traditional Chinese mindset, and he and my grandfather both don't find success for me as good test scores or a good ranking, which of course translates into me needing to put more and more, or almost all of my time, into studying and classes. My time spent playing on football or drums or painting or letting my school community are only viewed as just hobbies or interests, which are too often considered a waste of my valuable time. However, I firmly believe playing football on the football field, spending time with my pets, playing drums with a rock band, painting or drawing, being part of the school community and contributing, all these things make me a better and more interesting human and a better and more interested and engaged student. My interests define who I am beyond having good test scores on my math test or TOEFL. I'm more than a number. And as a universally regarded genius, Albert Einstein once said, not everything that counts can be counted. Not everything that can be counted counts. My mom, who is a bit more progressive in her thinking, supports me in virus and divers and understands this is precisely why she and my family chose to pay for a more international holistic education like I have at YCIS. Um, although she still wants me to get a good math score. So I'm here to tell all the traditional Chinese thinking parents that their children are more than a number. And if we want to define success, let's not look to the arbitrary test scores, but rather to the model of the Renaissance man or woman who truly loved and embraced learning in all its forms. As we know, what makes the world interesting is not our understanding of one discrete subject, but how these subjects link to each other. Um, here is a, let's look at a modern Renaissance man, Steve Jobs, the creator of Apple, the company that makes our iPhone, iPads, and MacBooks. He revolutionized our whole world of work and play with his computing and design genius. People often consider him as his computer and science knowledge. But did you know he was also an artist? It was his love of art and painting that influenced the sleekness and simplicity of his design that made his devices not just aesthetically prettier, but also more useful. Do you see how his interest in one area make him stronger and a better thinker in another? For me, being engaged in my hobbies is critical to relax, reducing stress and keeping me sharp mentally. If I don't get to play and I'm only studying, I get so bored and eventually I will lose my motivation and feel myself unable to achieve and get worse grades. For example, last year for several weeks, I entered a torturous reign of Dante's Inferno while I took classes to prepare for the TOEFL exam. These classes were from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. for about 14 hours every day. I don't know what person designed this study method, but I hope I'm not subjected to it again. Despite the enormous amount of valuable time and money invested, I still didn't feel that much better in English. I felt my soul being sucked out of my body, and in the meantime, I got crankier and less able to study, as I didn't have any time to devote to other hobbies that made learning worthwhile. Remember, balance is everything, and it's one of the most important trials a lifelong learner can develop. 
um, if you don't get to play, then you will get so bored. Su Shi, a great Chinese scholar and true Renaissance man, is not a source of inspiration. Su Shi was good at prose, poems, calligraphy, drawing, painting, music, and even a professional food taster. His prose poems were known throughout the world, coupled with his calligraphy and drawing. Using his pen and art to criticize the government, he was exiled to Hangzhou, where he revolutionized the taste of pork meat, contributed greatly to Chinese cuisine. Su Shi was one of the eight great men of Tang and Song dynasty, and was smart and able to pass the most difficult Confucian test. But his brilliance was in how he brought his interests together, took risks, and contributed to his community. Even I'm never that famous, I wanted to be a great learner. I wanted to enjoy learning about many things, be happy, and make my community better. This is a bunch of photo of me, and um, playing football helped me to stay fit physically. I love being active, but it also keeps me sharp mentally. Playing football and other team sport is also a social experience from between teammates, and you learn a lot about leadership and collaboration, working on common goal, developing each person's strengths. I love making music because of how it makes me feel. I love drawing and finding new ways to share my ideas. If there's great enough from Steve Jobs to Su Shi, and if being part of a team player is important for future CEOs, shouldn't it be important for me? I'm more than a timing or ranking or any test scores. I'm more than a number. And this is what keeps me great and what makes me happy. Thank everyone for listening. Hope you have a good evening. Make sure to do something that makes you happy. Thank you.